Good morning to you, Christine. Yes, we're here live at the Central Pacific Hurricane Center in Manoa, picking the brains of our experts and our meteorologists who are working around the clock, giving us those latest updates. Our recent update was at 2 p.m., uh, sorry, 2 a.m., just a couple hours ago, and that's just a, an intermediate update, which means they really just gave us minimal updates of the location and knowing that it had slowed down in its forward speed. Make sure you continue to tune in because the next full update, which is going to give us the, f the update with the forecasted tracks, the warning and so forth that will be coming later in just a little bit at 5 a.m. giving up that that update so make sure you're tuning in but we're continuing to pick the brains of Brooke Bingaman who's here he, she's a meteorologist at the Central Pacific Hurricane Center to get a, a better idea of this system so let's talk about winds um, at this point what type of winds with this update at 2 a.m. this morning can we expect for the islands that are in the track at this point for Hurricane Lane well, the highest probability across the islands is to get at least tropical storm force winds. But of course, um, Oahu and Maui and Molokai were there under a hurricane warning, so there's still a potential for hurricane force winds as well for those islands. When we're talking about hurricane and tropical storm force winds, can you clarify with us what the intensity or miles per hour range in between those are? Yeah, for a tropical storm, it's generally about 35 miles per hour up to 75. And then when you go higher than that, that's when you're getting into hurricane force winds. And unfortunately, we've been seeing on the news with the latest outbreaks that KHON2 has been providing that Lahaina has a fire going on now, a wildfire. So can these winds definitely fuel that and make that a little bit more challenging situation for our first responders? Yeah, whenever you're talking about fires and the potential impact on fires, wind is definitely something that can enhance a fire because it can help spread it very quickly. But the good news is that, you know, firefighters are there on the scene and so they're going to do everything they can to mitigate it before the stronger winds pick up. Mm -hmm. And this came in from a question from a, a viewer who's from Lahaina and he's asking, right now they haven't been experiencing rains and that's definitely something we would like to see especially talking about that fire so is there an update from that 2 a.m. that may give us a better idea when those rains may start to impact that area um, with the 2 a.m. update the track didn't change that much so we're still looking at later today and into Saturday for the rains to be arriving um, so hopefully they'll get the fire out sooner than later mm -hmm. and we won't have to rely just on the rains mm -hmm. Now we're looking a lot at that for, uh, the, the particular image that has the forecasted track and that cone of uncertainty. Now some islands may be outside of that cone un of uncertainty or portions of the island. Does that mean that that portion or that particular island is out of the impact threat? No, absolutely not. That cone of uncertainty, that is only indicating where the very center of the hurricane could be. So the center could be anywhere in that cone, but you have to keep in mind that the impacts extend a good 300 miles away from the center. So if the center of the hurricane is all the way on the right side of the cone, then that means almost all the islands will still be getting impacts from the hurricane. And talking more about wind, so we have a one story house that had experiencing the low level winds, especially close to the ground. A two story, three story house, or even high condos. What is the difference in the threat when it's talking about the intensity of the winds? Yeah, so winds are actually stronger the higher you go up. And the reason for that is because winds near the surface, they have to deal with the friction of the land, the trees, buildings, etc. So that slows the winds down. But as you go higher up, it's basically just open air. And so when those stronger winds higher up hit buildings like big condos, etc., those winds are going to be higher on the higher floors. And we were speaking with a meteorologist yesterday who gave a really good tip about that where, um, it, one, it's good to stay away from the windows, especially in higher elevations, and two, a good idea maybe to put curtains on a curtain rod where if so happened the window was to crack or shatter, at least the curtains would become like a, a protection blanket on, in some sort, correct? Yeah, that's actually something that people do in the Midwest also to protect against tornadoes is they will either put heavy curtains up or even put a mattress against the window so that way if the glass shatters it, it will stay near the window and not fly into the rest of the home. 
And a good point that you brought up on tornadoes, where that, of course, is a definite possibility, but to some, they may not be thinking about that. Can you explain how tornadoes is a possibility of impact to our islands? Yeah, out in the tropics, you don't think of tornadoes being a big impact, but they can occur here, um, and especially with a hurricane in the area. When we have a hurricane, that means the atmosphere is very unstable, and there are a lot of thunderstorms in within the hurricane, and anytime you get a strong thunderstorm, it has the potential to spin up a tornado very quickly. Exactly.